again, YouTubers and Card Fight fans. 24 7 here again for Card Fight 24 7 with a Card Fight Vanguard trial deck opening video brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. We take a look at the, at the Dragonic Overlord trial deck featuring the character Kai from the cartoon, anime, whatever you want to call it. Burn everything to ash with your apocalyptic fire. So, this is obviously the English edition. It is VGE TD02. 50 card deck. Duplicates of some, as it is an actual deck. Um, want to open this now because it's got the manual and playbook and stuff, playmat, etc. Been watch I've got through the first seven episodes of the English edition of the series so far on the Cardfight Vanguard YouTube channel. So, I've I know most of the rules just from watching that now, but. Still want to read the rules and know all the details and hopefully start going to some tournaments soon. My local card shop has tournaments on Saturdays. Saturdays have been very busy for me these last few weeks and weeks coming up, but anytime I have an open Saturday, I'll be sure to head over there and check things out and see how the other players are and what kind of decks they have. So we'll get this opened up and take a look at them. I got the seal boxes of both of the first editions of trial decks in the background there, the blaster blade ones and more of these. So, I may put the sealed ones on toygamerfrom.com sometime in the near future, or I may open more just to put the singles on the website as well, as that's obviously the cheapest way of getting Dragonic Overlord and Blaster Blade. So, work our way, let's see what's the best way to open this here. I guess there's a pull to, oh, I thought that was higher than it was, but that was quite easy. So I'm not gonna go over the playbook and stuff in this video, um, I'll do that off camera and learn myself and then I may do some sort of like um, Videos where I go over the rules and explain how to play as well once I know myself It'd Be kind of hard to teach people how to play while I'm teaching myself at the same time So oh, I kind of like that they only have just the sleeve over it like that instead of like a whole plastic thing that's really tight and hard to get off so First off we'll put the nice shiny Dragonic Overlord here in a sleeve Since he is obviously the best card value-wise. So, Dragonic Overlord. Give you a look at his abilities there. I'm not sure what all the different symbols and stuff mean offhand. That's one thing I gotta learn. So, 11,000 attack power. Grade 3. So, Dragonic Overlord. The rest will go through a little bit more quickly. Um, oh, some of these actually still have foil treatment here. Let's see. Bear with me for a moment here. Let me just get these foils in sleeves before I get through things too much. Didn't realize there was more than one foil, so that's pretty cool. And another Dragonic Overlord that's not foil. Interesting. Alrighty. So let's get down to business here then. So we got Grade 2 Berserk Dragon. I'll try to just kind of go like that for like a split second. So if you want to read the abilities and stuff, you can do so. I'm not going to read them or have it last long enough for you to read it unless you pause. So, we got Grade 3 of Dragon Monk Goku. Another Grade 3 Dragonic Overlord. Grade 3 Demonic Dragon Berserker Yaksha. I'll still pronounce some wrong, but let's see. So we got four of him. I like to actually put them all together. In Pokemon, they have them all kind of mixed up, which makes it more repetitive. So we'll, let's go through a little bit more quickly then. So we got Grade 2 Dragon Knight Nahalem, no blades that I read. Got 5,000 shield as well though. Got four of him. We got some more Grade 2 Berserk Dragons, three more, none of which are foil though. So I'll give you one more look there. And we got Waver and Strike Tejas, four of that Grade 2 with 5,000 shield, 8,000 attack. 8,000 power, not sure what the correct term is, it says power next to it though, but Anyway, Embodiment of Armor Bar. See him a lot on the cartoon series thus far. For him, grade one, 5,000 shield, 8,000 power. And we've got just two grade ones of Dragon Monk Gojo. He's also got 5,000 defense, or shield, whatever. And let's see, four of Flame of Hope Aramo. He's also got 5,000 shield, 6,000 power. Two grade ones of Demonic Dragon uh, Madonna Joka, 5,000 shield, 6,000 power. I didn't check here, I just want to see, I wasn't really paying attention if any of these had any sort of triggers on the top, I don't think any did, not that I noticed at least. Okay, nope, because obviously on the cartoon series if you're watching or if you know how to play during attacks and stuff, 
you can check for a trigger from the like top card of your deck. So, got two Waver and Strike Jirons, Jirons, 5,000 shield, 6,000 power. Lizard Runner Undukes, Undo? Not sure if that's like French or what, if it's like Undo or Unducks or what. I think they used that once in the show, but I can't remember how it's pronounced. 10,000 shield on that one, grade zero, 6,000 power. Not too bad for a grade zero. So here's one with a draw trigger. Gives you a plus 5,000, lets you draw a card, I believe. 5,000 shield, 5,000 power, grade zero. Got one, two, three, four of that Dragon Dancer Monica. And then we got a plus 5,000 stand trigger, grade zero. 10,000 shield, 5,000 power. Lizard Soldier Ganlu. One, two, three, four of that. Then we got heal trigger, plus 5,000. 10,000 shield, 5,000 power. Dragon Monk Genjo. One, two, three, four. And you may only have up to four cards with heal in a deck. So, there's something I just learned then. Doesn't say anything about the stand one. Um, let's see. And the draw trigger doesn't say anything about that on there either. So, interesting. And then, last but not least, here we have four copies of a grade zero Demonic Dragon Mage Rakshasha. 10,000 shield, plus 5,000 critical trigger. With that, if you land the attack, you do one extra damage, so you can do two damage with one attack. 3,000 power. During your main phase, when an opponent's rear guard is put in the drop zone, this unit gets plus 3,000 power until the end of turn. So it looks like for the four different kinds of triggers, they have, I think it was four copies of each. Four copies of a critical, four of a draw, four of a heal, and four of a stand. But it looks like only the, the uh, heal one has a limitation. So I guess technically you could have a deck with where every card is a critical trigger or something like that, but probably not very good balance if you do something like that. So that is a look at what the Dragonic Overlord deck looks like. Um, I'll probably start with this one for myself and then kind of build off of that. Um, obviously I have cards from other sets, but I want to keep most of them for inventory and stuff for actually selling and recovering most of my costs, but I'll of course keep some cards for myself to actually use for decks and such as well. And if things get bigger in the area, then I'll be more inclined to keep more cards and make an even better deck. So um, I may just keep this deck and learn the game a little bit, go to one tournament with just a starter deck, trial deck, whatever, and see how the other players in the area are. Um, I'm assuming most of our buy as many cards as I am, so they probably won't have the best decks ever, because they probably won't have a bunch of like triple warriors and stuff like that. But anyways, please subscribe if you haven't. You can then get email alerts. For all of our future video uploads here on Card Fight 24-7, give us a big thumbs up for a great look here at the Dragonic Overlord trial deck. Check out toygamingandforum.com for all your card fight and our toy and gaming needs. Um, not sure I'm uploading this video, but if singles aren't on the website yet, they should be very soon for the first and sixth, sixth set of English edition. Um, I also have um, second edition to open up still in both English and Japanese and I also have the third set in Japanese that I have not opened up any yet so um, once I do that I will have series 1, 2, and 6 English editions on the website and 2 and 3 in Japanese on the website and I should have sealed packs and or boxes on there sooner or later as well so I thank you all for watching and I will see you all next video